Aqua jogging is not only a great rehabilitation exercise, but it is also great for cross training. Running applies such impact forces to the hips and knees and ankles that aqua jogging allows the muscles to move in a very similar plane of motion without those impact forces. So what you basically get are a lot of the benefits of running without any of the excess trauma. So here we can see in slow motion the mechanics behind it. You can aqua jog in you know, several different ways. It doesn't have to be done in any specific way. But you notice you know, the one knee comes forward and we have a nice contralateral movement with the arms and legs. So the left arm comes forward as the right knee comes forward. And you can lift that knee up as high as you want. It doesn't have to come up that, that high. You want to press your leg down. You can do this a little bit more upright or with a slight forward lean, as in a proper uh, running gait. Um, you can just do it in one spot, completely vertical, so you don't move forward. You can... So we can see here, he's got a nice forward lean, pressing back with that leg and pressing down. And he's going to increase the cadence here to a 180 cadence. So when you do this, you're going to notice that your heart rate skyrockets. And I mean skyrocket. Um, aqua jogging does have the, shall I say, um, misinterpretation that it is for old ladies. It is not. Um, it is preferred cross training for most track and field teams, a lot of cross country teams. Um, and again, it's, uh, it's incredibly effective. And give it a try. Try and go with that 180 cadence, and I guarantee you your heart rate's going to be a lot higher than you expected. Um, I can also probably guarantee you you're not going to be able to do it as long as you thought you could. So again, we just see the underwater view here. So Long is doing a slight outward rotation with his foot. Okay, You don't need to do that. Um, he's doing that because uh, he's got a very good egg beater, and that's an adaptation that has occurred. He's still getting the benefits of the running gait, and then here we go to that 180 cadence. Nice and fast. You can see those arms are still moving with him. That nice contralateral movement, opposite arm and opposite knee. So here's what you do if you do not have an aqua jogger, which is the weight belt or the flotation belt actually. Um, you would press down on the water. So you can see my hands are pressing down on the water. As my hand comes back up, it slices the water because I don't want any resistance going up. I only want that resistance going down. So that's going to keep me floating. Then here's the back view. You can see that leg goes nice and straight right at the bottom. My toes are lifted. Okay, so we want to get good glute and hamstring activation throughout this motion. So that rear leg drive, when you're running, we want to make sure your glute is fully engaged and your quads are fully engaged. While well, your hips are straight and your knee is straight. So here's a freeze frame of that back leg drive. So we can see that the hip is straight, knee is straight, good alignment, slight forward lean. Here's the front view. Again, I'm pressing down with that water, slicing my hand up, pressing it down, slicing it up, pressing it down. And then it also gives you a nice tricep workout. So give it a try, give it a test run, and uh, hopefully you'll see the benefits. I'm sure you will.